Throughout history, just like female slaves, male slaves also suffered terrible mistreatment from their female owners. While many stories highlight the suffering of male slaves at the hand of male masters, it's vital to remember that male slaves also faced abuse from their female mistresses. This video aims to uncover this less discussed part of history, delving into the dark tales of some slave mistresses and their cruel treatment of black male slaves. Let's get into it. The story of slavery teaches us how mean people can be. In America, slavery was a big problem until the Civil War. Enslaved black people and their kids had to work hard and were treated very badly. This was the exact time when slavery was being abolished, but just give it a vague thought. Why would the white supremacists leave their luxuries and work on their own? Well, even though the Civil War happened, disgusting elitists found a loophole in the system. In the South, where there were big farms, lots of people had slaves. They thought it was okay, so they continued breeding slaves and forced them into sexual relationships. Women who were rich and owned big farms also had power over enslaved people. They could tell them what to do and even punish them, and by punishment, we mean something vile, disgusting, and sinister. One well-known example of all the disturbing crimes committed against male slaves is Delphine LaLaurie, also called Marie Delphine McCarty, who lived in 18th century New Orleans. Even though society often sees women as caring and kind, it's important to recognize that some women were involved in the harsh treatment of slaves. Delphine LaLaurie inherited numerous enslaved people due to her family's wealth. This was common during the 14th to 19th centuries when families considered slaves as valuable property passed down through generations to maintain their wealth. Born in 1787 to a wealthy family, Delphine LaLaurie led a comfortable life due to her family's extensive estate and many slaves. However, she hid a dark side of herself. Between 1830 and 1834, she subjected her male slaves to horrifying abuse, chaining them to hot stoves and committing other cruel acts. It wasn't until a fire broke out in her mansion in 1834 that her horrific actions were exposed. The fire revealed the bodies of brutalized slaves and maltreated male slaves tied up. Publicly, Delphine portrayed herself as respectable, concealing her monstrous behavior behind closed doors. This stark difference between her public image and her cruelty shows how hidden cruelty can exist within seemingly respectable individuals. Her mistreatment wasn't only physical, she also forced herself on male slaves to assert her dominance and cruelty. This hidden aspect of history also includes the exploitation of black male slaves by wealthy white women. Although not as common as the exploitation of female slaves by white men, it did actually happen. Elite white women sometimes had relationships with black male slaves either willingly or because of pressure. However, due to societal norms and fear of judgment, these relationships were often kept secret. Sometimes, the aftermath of these relationships led to infanticide where children born from these unions were killed or abandoned to hide the evidence. Not only was it purely sadistic, but it also concealed the sins and cruelty of white women who used black men for pleasure and discarded them in the trash once their bodies were satisfied. And don't get us started on what the mixed babies had to suffer from. They were seen as a symbol of disgrace and often treated worse than the black slaves. This might seem quite basic in front of all the disgusting and traumatizing experiences the black women had to endure, but it truly was something that scarred the identity of black masculinity. Even today, white supremacist families are often found joking about black men and white women marrying and disrupting their lineage. Well, we don't see any joke in this. Delphine LaLaurie, Mistress Hildred, and Sarah Ma Williamson serve as reminders of how some women contributed to the brutal slavery system. By acknowledging this lesser-known aspect of history, we can better understand the complex behavior of humans and remember those who suffered under these cruel mistresses. Through understanding this history, we can strive for a more equal future where such terrible acts are left behind.